that. Keep you away from hope. Why are you kidding? Who did you bribe to get this? Why would I have to bribe anyone? What is this? Why are you doing this to me? Sorry. Can't blame me this time. You brought this all on yourself. Brody, what is it? Whatever this DNA report says, whoever the baby's father turns out to be, nothing is going to change between us. This ring is a promise. My promise to marry you and love you for better or for worse, no matter what happens. Brody, that means so much to me, but you don't have to. I know, I've said all this before, but now that we're doing it, now we're going to finally find out. I want you to know that I mean it with all my heart. And whether this baby is mine or Ford's, it doesn't matter. Okay, please just let this be John's baby. You know, I, I know that I've had a lot of scrubs in my life, but just give me this one, okay? Please. Please. Natalie. What are you doing in the genetics lab? I'm so glad you're here. Mr. Buchanan, I know that you've been trying to reach me about that business in the lab, but... What business in the lab? Um... First page is all about comparing my DNA to Echo's. And it's official. I'm your mother. I... Um, I'm surprised to see you here. Is everything okay? I was just getting a witness statement. I, um, I saw you heading this way, and I figured the, uh, the amnial results must be in. Is that them? I know I haven't exactly made the last couple months easy for you. I, sometimes I let what happened between you and Ford get between I us. I told you I understand. Well, from now on, you won't have to. I promise you that from now on, Ford will not come between us again because... Because this is our baby, and no lab report can change that. Nothing can. Okay. Let's do this. Wow, Ford, I don't think I've ever seen you at a loss for words. I like it. Uh, well, this is a surprise. And I think it's great that you're unpredictable. You do? Yeah, of course. It's just, it's not like we haven't had sex before, you know? Sex was all we had before. And whenever we were together, I couldn't help but wonder if you were just keeping me around just for the sex. And guess what? I was right. Okay, that was then. Like I said, but this is now. I've changed. I meant it when I said I want a relationship with you. Now, I know I've never been in one before, and I don't even know how to go about it. But I'm willing to try. So then try this. For us. How else am I supposed to know that you care about me for me? For who I am? For how I think what I believe in? And not just for the sex? Like I said, there are a million other ways that... Wait a minute. Do you mean no sex? A ever? Would that be a problem? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> the, um... The lab called and said that the results were in, so I just thought I'd come by and pick them up. I mean, I, I, I wasn't going to open it without you. Gee, thanks. <laughs> I guess they don't blame you for being, you know, worried that everything's all right. Yeah, thanks. I'm here now. Since we're in this thing together, have you had a chance to read them? No. Well, you say we, uh, we have a look, all right? Congratulations. How does that feel now that it's official? 
I already knew. <laughs> but at least everyone else knows now, too. At least that part wasn't a lie. I know how confusing all of this must be for you, finding out that I'm your mother after all this time. How do you feel? Well, I grew up thinking Roxy was my mom. Then some Native American woman named Lily, who turned out to not even be real. Now it turns out that a woman named Echo de Savoy is my mom. A woman who tried to wreck Vicky and Clint's marriage before she abandoned me at birth and never looked back. How do you expect me to feel now that just some lab report says you're my mom? Actually, uh, I meant the other Mr. Buchanan, Clint Buchanan. He left me several messages saying that he needs to speak to me, but this isn't something we should talk about on the phone. My uncle's in a very important meeting right now. But I might be able to interrupt him. What is this about? I really can't say. You said something about the lab. Did you mean the lab at the hospital? No. No, not that lab. I meant the, the research lab here at Buchanan Enterprises, where I work. I have some research that I need to discuss with Mr. Buchanan, and only Mr. Buchanan. John, just let, let, let me explain. What's your alpha theta protein level? Uh, oh, um, uh. Oh, here, look, you, you translate. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the AFP is, is, it's fine. There's no problem. The number here just means it's in normal limits. So that means our baby's perfect. Perfect. No health issues. Then I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Negative, negative, negative. This, that's good, right? Yes, yes. I mean, I have to talk to Dr. Wright about it, but it means the baby tested negative for all of these genetic abnormalities. So the kid aced his first test. <laughs> <laughs> or hers. <laughs> so I guess that means uh, time for the big one. Paternity oh, test. Oh, my God. What? What is it? We have to talk about something first. Why? Is there something, is there something wrong with the baby? You trying to keep me from my granddaughter? No, I'm not trying. I've succeeded. Well, what have I ever done to hurt Hope? Do I really need to refresh your memory, Marty? You nearly got her killed. Her and Star. When you decided to vouch for that psycho Hannah got her released from the net house. Where she should have spent the rest of her life in a padded cell. I, 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 made, I made a bad call. You made a bad call? I mean, like when you let her live here? Even though you knew she was obsessed with your son? I believed I could help her. How? By letting her fantasies about coal run wild? Until she decides she wants to bury my daughter alive? <laughs> yeah, forgive me if I don't trust you with my, my children, especially my granddaughter. What, what exactly would I ever do to hurt Hope? How do I know? I'm not a shrink. If there's any justice in the world, you won't be much longer either. You've obviously got emotional issues that is affecting your judgment. Emotional issues? You're, you're, the one, you're talking to me about emotional issues after everything you've done to me, after everything I've lost? Let's have a seat. Uh, what do you say? We have a look at the rest of that. Uh, no. You can't. Why? What don't you want me to say? We shouldn't read the end of the report if we don't want to know what the sex of the baby is. You don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl? You don't want to be surprised? I thought I did, and that, that was before Dr. Wright and some guy in the lab found out. If they know, shouldn't we? No, no, there's nothing wrong with the baby. It's then what? Well, we never talked about whether we want to find out if it's a boy or a girl. No, you're right. We, we never talked about that. Uh, although we have had a couple other things on our minds. One or two. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, what do you want to do? Should we, should we find out? I don't know. You know, we've been so stressed out about this baby. 
You know, wondering who the father is, if it's... Right. That I think... You know, wouldn't it be nice to wonder about something that, that's a good thing? Something that no matter how it turns out, we get a happy ending. You know, I, I don't I don't care if Dr. Wright or the lab guy or anybody else saw the sex of the baby first. I, I'm just happy that our baby's healthy. Me too. And I mean, that's all I want to be a meal for. Besides, um, I don't know. We just got some really good news. I don't want to jinx it. I understand. I mean, don't you want to save some suspense for the big day? I think it will be suspenseful enough, but... Okay. If that's what you want. That's exactly what I want. Did I ever tell you you're a genius? I'm not sure. Well, you are. <laughs> Why don't you put that page back in the envelope? You sure? Definitely. I don't mind waiting for good news, and boy or girl, either way, it'll be perfect. I couldn't agree more. So now, time for the moment of truth. I, I'm sorry, I, I never should have asked you how you feel. I know that this is a very complicated situation for you, and it was wrong of me. And you know, Rex, Echo could have let the past stay buried, but at least now you know. No, no, it's okay. Rex has every reason to be angry with me. I mean, I wasn't around all those years when I should have been your mother. Just what were you doing all those years? Nothing I'm proud of, but I would like to make it up to you now. I mean, I, I have no right to ask anything of you, but I would like to be a part of your life. I would like to get to know just a, a little bit about you. I guess that would be okay. But don't expect me to think of you as my mother. <laughs> I don't think even Echo is that presumptuous. I mean, it's one thing to share some DNA on the lab report, but I think we all know that that is not remotely the same as being a mother. I didn't think you could hurt me any more than you already have. But for you to do this to me now, when I've never been more alone in my life? <laughs> That's not my fault. No, it never is, is it? Because you can't care for anyone more than you do for yourself. My son is going to be locked away in prison for years. I lost the baby that I wanted so badly. I'm a mother who's lost her children, and... See, but see, I had my granddaughter. I had my granddaughter. I had hope. She's the only thing I have, and now you want to take her away from me? I just want to do what's best for her. See, you know, you're not allowed to do You're not going to do that. You're not allowed to do that. I'm not going to let that happen. I am not going to let that happen. Because you know what? A lot of things have happened since college. I've learned to fight. Oh my God.